I've just been out and I've caught a uh, Mac tuna. I was after long, long tail tunas, but I got a Mac tuna. We got one. It's not the long tail I thought I had. That thing was pulling so hard and looking at the size of it, I can see why I thought I had a long tail. This is a Mac tuna. But you'll see, Tomo can do some pretty good things with this, so I'm going to give it to Tomo from Japanese cuisine classes. And he'll whip that up into some pretty nice food. If you cook it right, it's actually very delicious, and the right man to cook it is Tomo. I've got Tomo here from uh, Japanese cuisine classes. He's going to show us how we can turn this mac tuna into some mouth-watering treats. Almost, you know, all the water gone. We're going to do a couple of dishes today, Tomo. What are we going to do? Yeah, we can make uh, some seared mac tuna sashimi and uh, mac tuna and avocado sandwich. We are making a uh, dumpling as well. Yeah, we've got um, the kids, the kids are here, they're gonna help. It's lunchtime here. And yeah. I've just, while Tomo was coming over, I've chopped this fish up. We've got some nice big, uh, big fillets there for Tomo to work with. We're gonna get stuck in. And um, if you want to get any of these recipes, Tomo has got a new book coming out. I'll put a link in the description of this video where you can find out more information about his book. It's red meat, but it's really tasty if you cook it, and especially when you uh, cook uh, the skin using a uh, torches, and then make uh, like crispy and smoky, and then taste really nice. So if you use like a sashimi knife or sharp, sharp, sharp knife, would be good. So mac tuna yeah. is close to the bonito, right? Which you in Japanese culture, yeah. bonito is a really an important part of your culture, right? Exactly. Uh, we say mac tuna, the bonito, we call the katsu. Katsu it has a lot of ingredients. We dry the completely dried, and then use a broth. We say dashi, which is a, a Japanese, you know, uh, fish stock, which is very important uh, for the uh, Japanese seasoning. And this is come from that fish. This is mac tuna tataki, a seared sashimi. It's a lot of garnish on the top, and um, ginger, garlic, and some soy sauce and um, sesame oil and sesame seeds toasted and um, some fresh herbs from the garden. Golden brown and then crispy and outside is crispy and the inside is juicy, it's, which is Japanese uh, gyoza. So we are making some dumplings with a mac tuna and this is a fresh just diced mac tuna and garlic and ginger and some cabbage. Mm -hmm. uh, normally you usually use uh, you know pork mince or um, chicken mince as a, as a meat. Okay. So, so we never we never done before but you know Alexandra I just say oh, I want to eat a dumpling so it's just you know spontaneously we are cooking uh, so see how it goes. So we just uh, put in the you know mac tuna and ginger and garlic and just roughly chop um, some cabbage. Then put some um, kombucha or soy sauce, like a uh, one tablespoon, and some sesame oil, one tablespoon, and then, like that. Then put a little. Alexandra, can you do it? Done, ready. So we are just uh, making some fillings, then put into the the gyoza pastry, and then the water around the, and then making dumpling. Like that. Do you need put there. Can I make one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're very creative, yeah, their own way, so which is, you know, really creative making dumpling, right? Eh? Oh, okay, so I will show you here. And some middle one, the middle one just make a piece like this. 
点，来，来几下，走。Put me the living water in between inside. Then other side as well. This is make a piece. Can you do that? Like, like that. Okay, cool. So it's ready to cook dumpling. It's a kids um, work well, well. They did well done actually. Let's go one. So we are cooking. I just have straight in on the pan. Just a two tablespoon of um, sesame oil, and then just place all the dumpling. Onto the fry pans from the cold, it's you don't have to um, put the heat on yet. So just press there, like just you know, squeezing like as if we are in Tokyo. That you know, that's crazy. Last hour, the people are you know, squeeze, squeezing you know, each other like that. Okay, and the Alexandra make some many money back as well, so it's like good. Somewhere. Money bags. Somewhere. Money bags. So he loves money. Yeah? Okay, cool. Thank you. Then just uh, switch on the, the heat in the high heat and just put on there and then wait until just uh, bubbling and then after one or two minutes later, like you know, getting the golden brown. Like that, it's a little bit more then when we see the golden brown then just time to pour the uh, water into the fry pan yeah we have uh, poured the water in that so just use a lid just put just in case protect yourself like that. And then put the lid on and wait four minutes or five minutes. Okay, four minutes later, and then almost you know all the water gone, and then getting the like caramelized, which is which is a sign to ready to start. This is all all the cheese. Look at that! It's golden brown, mm. isn't it? Okay, just try, try that. That way. And then one, two, three. Like this. Look at this. It's beautiful. Golden brown. It's nice and the crispy inside the juicy. It's like a dumpling. We say gyoza. So this is user user pond which is like a pond sauce, which is um the soy sauce and citrus based sauce. And then just the pour here and then just eat everybody enjoy it like this awesome that's it so tomo has now done a dish he hasn't done before this is um mac tuna gyoza or dumplings usually using chicken or um, pork but this is absolutely delicious look at these kids they are quiet this is how good this dish is these kids are so quiet i'm going in for my second one here i'm going to pull this open have a look at this meat this is delicious. I don't care what you say again about Mac Tuna. This is beautiful. Well, thank you, Tomo. That's the final dish. And I tell you, if you want any of these recipes, I'll put the link in the description below. You'll find out more about uh, Tomo's cooking classes and how he can help you get the best out of your tuna. Mm, man, that's so good. Good, huh? Tuna sandwiches at work are never going to be the same. This is the best tuna sandwich you'll ever get. <laughs> so good. Okay, so next we are making some um, mock tuna sandwiches. As we know, the, we sear the, the mock tuna and then we just slice it. Uh, the teaspoon of the the sesame oil is kombu tsuyu, which is include uh, soy sauce and um, dashi and um, a sweet sake in it. So I just pour in here. And just marinate it. Okay, just use your finger, excuse my finger, mix together. And then ready. It's very simple. So and uh, we just uh, prepared for like a wakamori. In Japan we use a yuzu, which is like a citrus. 
it's very unique flavor. It's like a nice um, avocado and uh, use citrus flavor. So you can use a lime and lemon, whichever, and then you can put it there. Yep. Um, we usually use a butter, but if we just use the guacamole on top, and there, and then just apply some um, mac tuna on the top. And if you have some um, veggies, uh, you can use some um, some onion on top. Look at this. Like that. How, how cool is that? It's beautiful. So I'm, I'm all right. He's like lemon. How on style some mayonnaise and um, um wakamori and um mac tuna together. And um, with onion? Yeah, yeah, of course I do.